Let me show you five workouts you can do at home, especially if you have a tiny apartment like here. Hi everybody, this is Jen here from Authentic Energy, your wellness platform to manifest love from building body confidence. Okay, so let's get into the five workouts you can do at home, especially if you have like a little couch space here, and you can see that's all the space I have at home, but no excuses. Like I always say to everybody, if you want to build up the body confidence to attract love, you have to keep training your body and your mind every day. So no space, no excuses. Let me show you what you can do. Just with this tiny little space you have and the couch. Okay, so we're going to do each workout for only one minute. Only one minute. But, you know, I suggest you guys to repeat them at home maybe two times or three times. But in this video, we're just going to do five minutes. That's all you need. Okay, it's very simple. So, let's get started. The first one, Bulgarian lunge. Okay, you can place one leg on top of your couch, just the edge of the couch, and place your body in the lunge position. And you want to go up and down. Nice and easy. You can find the balance by placing your hand on your waist. Okay, and make sure you check your front leg. You know, it's a 90 degrees when you go down. Is your knee like passing your ankle too much? Or is it sitting on top of your ankle? So those are the little details you have to be aware of, all right? And this one is so good for your lower body, building up and shaping up your glutes, your butt, and also your thighs. And particularly if you feel very sore and the burn in the butt region, then you're doing it right. And of course, you'll feel some burn in the front leg as well, in the front thigh too. So, just keep your balance here and tuck in your core. That's good, nice and steady. Oh, I'm starting to feel it. This is real time, by the way. You hear the bell, and now it's time to change the leg, the other side, same as before. Okay, I got a few more seconds to get ready. Place your foot on top of the couch, and make sure you adjust your front leg too. Oh, almost lost my balance here. See, I told you, this is 100% raw. 100% authentic. This is how I work out at home. If I don't get to um, go to the gym, and sometimes you guys will see some of the videos of film downstairs in my condo gym. That's also a very tiny space, by the way. So if some of you guys are still thinking, I have no space at home, I can't do anything, no excuses. The key is about being creative, okay? So I do welcome a lot of you guys to send me photos of what you have at home, what space you have at home, what furniture you have at home, and then I can actually give you suggestions of what you can do with what you got. Okay, not everybody has to subscribe to the gym or have lots of equipment at home. There are a lot of things you can do with even just nothing, just your body. Ooh, I can really feel it. Ooh, this one is very challenging, but it's so good. Oh, you really feel it. Okay, next one. Let's get down on the floor. You can see I've got the mat ready next to the couch. Get your body down. We're going to do glute bridge. Okay, so legs up. Okay, place your hips a little bit further away. You want to adjust yourself. I want to make sure you guys can still see me. Okay, and gently push your hips up. Squeeze down here. You can feel that this is so good for strengthening, building up your hamstring strength and also your gluteal strength so those of you guys who want to have like a nice well-shaped butt and lower body this one is a must do okay and i believe all of you guys can do this at home even just beside your bed you know we all have like this platform right nice and soft platform but also make sure you wash your feet before you put your feet up on your bed or on your couch you don't want to have like dirty feet up on your couch, right? So I hope my feet are clean enough. And you guys can see, I can't see my feet. I think they're reasonably okay for today. And push up and squeeze, okay? So every time you guys do the glute bridge, I want you guys to really pay attention to the squeezing. Okay, now next one. Are you ready for some squats? And I want you guys to do the sit squat with me this time by using the couch. So place your legs wider than your, your shoulders. Gently sit down. See how the height of my um, couch is a little bit high? So ideally, you want to sit into something a bit lower. So that's more challenging for your body. And the key is to have your butt gently 
touching the bench, touching the couch. Okay, so you know how low you can go. And for some of you guys, I know you're very smart. You're thinking, can I just do this without the couch? Of course you can. You can always walk out. Okay, as long as you have like a little, I don't know, one meter square foot space, you can definitely do a lot with even just one square foot space. Okay, great, we got 10 more seconds left. All right, now I'm facing you guys. Smile, and I'm so happy that you guys get to enjoy this with me. Ooh, very nice, super. Now, the last one. Guess what we're working on? We're working on the abs, working on the core. Your favorite, right? You guys always ask me to give you workouts on like, how do I get my six pack? Okay, this one is a V-sit. So just sit at the edge of your couch. You can tell my couch is very soft. Ideally, you wanna have a very firm space, a firm platform so that you're not sinking in. So you basically form a little kind of like V-sit position and then you want to tuck your knees in. So it's like a, uh, what I call the V-sit crunch. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And you're really working it. Can you feel the crunching? The contracting? Out. Every time when you have your knees into your chest, you want to breathe out. So that way, you can actually regulate your breathing, but also you can control your movement better too. And try not to talk like me when you're working out. Okay, in, out. We got eight more seconds here. Almost there, guys, seriously. This has been like the most fantastic five minutes of my life. Did you hear that? Awesome. You know what? You guys, go home and do this five workouts. Repeat two times or three times, ideally, if you want to see better results. And how often should you do this? I'll say, you know, three times a week. You can do this every day if you like. Since you're like, oh my God, that's so easy. All I need is just my couch and just a bit of space here, right? You know, you all have beds and you can do this beside your bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout episode with me. And I like to call it the confidence building, body confidence building workout. So if you guys want to see more workouts on how to build body confidence and also how to work out, you know, to train your body, to attract love, please write them, write your suggestions in a comment below. I'll definitely, definitely reply you guys. You know, I reply every single comment, right? So thanks so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, okay? And this year I am dedicated to making videos to help you guys manifest love by building body confidence. Okay, catch you guys next time. Bye.